now we are going to discuss 19th problem a steel wire of length l has a magnetic moment m it is then bent into a semi circular arc the new magnetic moment is initially wire was in this form magnetic moment was m length was l by bending the wire only we are going to change effective length so magnetic moment was pole strength into length effective length when we keep the wire in semi circular shape now distance between poles is changed now it is this it is equal to two times the radius of the circle and we know that this circle is made up of that length only so it means that length is now the half of circumference so l is equals to pi into r so r is equals to now l upon pi so new magnetic moment should be pole strength into 2r and 2r means 2l by pi but m into l is old magnetic moment so new one is 2m by pi so we are going with option number b next magnetic dipole moment is a vector quantity directed from south pole to north pole so we will go with option a two short bar magnets of magnetic moments m each are arranged at the opposite corner of square of side d such that their center coincides with the corners and their axes are parallel if the like poles are in the same direction the magnetic induction means magnetic field at any of the other corners of the square is c what they are talking about it is a square of length d a b c d what we did here we put two magnets at two corners their magnetic moments their axes should be parallel same poles on same sides means if its north pole is here its north pole is here south pole south pole this is the picture and they are saying the length of square is d so magnetic moment of this we want to calculate magnetic field at this point clearly you can see for this the magnetic field is in 10a position if you imagine a north pole at this point the magnetic field due to this bar magnet it is in this direction due to this i am saying it b1 it is magnet number 1 it is magnet number 2 for this it is in 10b position magnetic field is in this direction b2 both are it is 
in 10 B position, what will be the direction? We will check that first. We will check that. How to check? If we imagine at unit north pole, this north pole will ripple and this south pole will attract. So, magnetic field will be in this direction is B2. So, net magnetic moment, net magnetic induction, net magnetic field means difference of these two. If B1 is greater than B2, it is in the direction of B1. If B2 is greater than B1, it should be in the direction of B2, but they are not talking about directions. First, we will get, calculate B1 and B2. What is B1? We know the formula for an A position, Gauss A position, mu naught upon 4 pi 2m by d cube. B2 again from center at d distance. So, B2 should be mu naught upon 4 pi m by d cube definitely B1 is greater than B2. So, net magnetic field should be B1 minus B2, B1 minus B2. What is B1? Take mu naught upon 4 pi common. If you subtract 2 m upon d, m upon d cube from this, you will get m upon d cube. So, we should go with the option a and direction is towards first magnet in this case. So, we are going with option A. Now, it is two identical magnetic dipoles of magnetic moment 2 ampere meter square are placed at a separation of 2 meter with their axis perpendicular to each other in air. The resultant magnetic field at a midpoint between the dipoles is C. One magnet is this magnetic dipole, small length means length you can ignore. It is the axis of this magnetic field. This second one is like this, its magnetic moment. its axis should be perpendicular to the axis of first one. Midpoint means 1 meter from this and 1 meter from this. Suppose it is its north pole, it is south pole and it is its north pole, it is south pole. Due to this magnet, if magnetic field is in this direction, Due to this, north pole will ripple, south pole will attract, resultant is in this direction, B2. Means B1 and B2 are mutually perpendicular. What is B1? For first, it is in 10 A position, mu naught upon 4 pi, 2 m upon d cube means 10 to the power minus 7, 2 into 2, distance is 1, 1 cube is 1. So, 4 into 10 to the power minus 7. For second, it is in 10 B position. So, same number only half of this means m upon d cube. Half of this means it should be 2 into 10 to the power minus 7. Since both are perpendicular, so, what should be the resultant? Resultant means root of B1 square plus B2 square, B2 square. What is B1 square? 16 into 10 to the power minus 14. It is 4 into 10 to the power minus 14. Take 10 to the power minus 14 common. So, you will get 10 to the power minus 7 outside the square root, inside 20, 
20 means 2 root 5. So, what we are getting? 2 root 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 Tesla. So, we are going with D. Next, a bar magnet has a magnetic moment 25 joule per Tesla. Place in magnetic field 0.2. Work done in turning the magnet from parallel to anti parallel. What do you mean by parallel to anti parallel? Theta 1 is 0 degree, theta 2 is 180 degree. You know the work done formula mb cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. So, what we are getting? m is magnetic moment 2.5 SI unit, magnetic field 0.2 SI unit, cos 0 1, cos 180 minus 1. <coughs> so, 1 and 1 2, 2 into 2.5, 5, 5 into 0.2, 1. So, what we are getting? 1 joule means A option is correct. Next, a magnet of length 0.1 meter and pole strength 10 to the power minus 4 ampere meter is kept in a magnetic field of 30 web per meter square at an angle of 30 degree. The couple acting on it is, we know that the formula for couple mv sin theta. So, what should be the value of couple? m magnetic moment means pole strength into effective length. What is pole strength? 10 to the power minus 4. What is length? 0.1. Magnetic field 30 SI units. Sin 30, 1 by 2. So, it will become 15. So, what we can write it? If we are using 10 to the power minus 4, 0.1 into 15, 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 Newton meter. 10 to the power minus 4 is already written there. So, remaining number is this, it is 1.5. So, we will go with option B. 25th, a magnet of magnetic moment 50 I cap is placed along the x axis. In a magnetic field be this, the torque acting on the magnet is just I told you, we discussed the formula of magnetic moment. What was the formula for magnetic moment? M cross B, they asked in 1999. So, now they can give you numerical of that type. M is given, B is given. So, what you need? Torque. In vector form, it means it should be M cross B. Means only we have to solve determinant first row IJK, second row. from m coefficient of i 50 j is not there k is not there n b 0.5 j 3 k is not there so what is the formula i multiplied by hide the row and column of i you will get 0 minus j hide the row and column of j Again, you can get 0, you will get 0 plus k, hide the row and column of k. What you are getting? 150 minus 0 means 150. So, what should be the correct answer? Correct answer is 150 k cap. It means in the positive direction of z axis and magnitude should be 150. Four options are not there. 
So, we are writing correct answer here. Answer it should be 150 k cap. Next, a magnetic dipole is under the influence of two magnetic fields. The angle between the field directions is 60 degree and one of the field has a strength of this. If the dipoles come to stable equilibrium at an angle of 15 degree with this field, what is the magnitude of other field? See what is happening here. Two magnetic fields are there. It is B1, it is B2. In equilibrium, an angle between both is 60 degree. If your magnet is making angle 15 degree with the given field, fifteen degree with V one, B one is one point two into ten to the power minus seven Tesla. It means with second it will make a 45 degree. Torques due to both fields are trying to take magnet in their direction, but both have equal strength at this point. So, they are cancelling the effect of each other. What is torque due to B1? It should be M. What they are saying about M? A magnet dipole, a uh, magnet is same, so M is same. M B1 sin 15 degree and strength of torque of second is M B2 sin 45 degree. Both are trying to take them in their own direction cancel M with M. So, easy to calculate now B2. What should be the value of B2? B1 into sin 15 degree. How to calculate sin 15 degree? I write it 45 minus 30 upon sin 45 degree. Sin 45 is 1 by root 2. To take this root 2 in numerator, so, root 2 B1 sin A minus B sin A sin 45 cos B cos 30 minus cos A sin B. Put the value of B1. So, root 2 into 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 7 uh, minus sorry minus 2 they give minus 2 minus 2 to root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2. Cancel root 2 with this root 2. 1.2 by 2.6 into 10 to the power minus 2 into root 3 minus 1 Tesla. 0.6 you can write 6 into 10 to the power minus 1. So, we are getting 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 root 3 minus 1 Tesla. So, we are going with option C. We are going with option C. Next, a magnet is placed in a non-uniform magnetic field. Note it, it is non-uniform magnetic field. It means it will feel a torque as well as force. So, we are going with option C. So, we are going with option C. 
फोर्स एंड अ टॉर्क इन यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इट विल फील ओनली टॉर्क नेक्स्ट अ मैग्नेट ऑफ मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट एम इज लाइंग इन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ऑफ इंडक्शन बी डब्ल्यू वन इज द वर्क डन टर्निंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू सिक्सटी मीन्स डब्ल्यू वन इज वट इज द फॉर्मूला एम बी कॉस थीटा वन माइनस कॉस थीटा टू इट इज द फॉर्मूला टू कैलकुलेट डब्ल्यू वट दे आर सींग फॉर डब्ल्यू वन जीरो टू सिक्सटी कॉस जीरो वन कॉस सिक्सटी वन बाई टू मीन्स एम बी बाई टू फॉर डब्ल्यू टू थर्टी टू नाइंटी कॉस थर्टी रूट थ्री बाई टू कॉस नाइंटी जीरो सो इट इज रूट थ्री एम बी बाई टू फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर वन पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एम बी एम बी इज टू डब्ल्यू वन सो वॉट वी आर गेटिंग W2 टू इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री डब्ल्यू वन सो वी आर गोइंग विथ डी ऑप्शन ट्वेंटी एट डी ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट अब प्लेनर क्वाइल हैविंग ट्वेल्व टर्न कर इज कर फिफ्टीन एमपीयर करेंट द क्वाइल इज ओरिएंटेड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सच द डायरेक्टेड एरिया ए इज दिस द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ द क्वाइल in the given orientation is what is potential energy the potential energy for what is u u is minus m dot b magnetic moment m b cos theta means m dot b what is m m is n i a M is N I A. N and I, they are scalar. So we are getting this. Means minus N number of turns twelve. I. What is current? Fifteen ampere. now a dot b what is a dot b minus 12 into 15 180 a is -0.04 a dot b means multiply the coefficient of i With coefficient of i, coefficient of j, with coefficient of j, into point two. Minus minus, it will become plus. So one eighty into four into two eight. Ten to the power minus three. So what we are getting? Eight eight is a sixty four. 144 into 10 to the power minus 3. Put decimal after 3, please. So we will get 1.44 joule. So we will go with option C. 30th problem. We know that magnetic lines are moving from north to south, but inside the magnet from south to north. so we will go with option d so 30th problem option d is correct the net magnetic flux through any closed surface kept in a magnetic field is the number of lines which are leaving same number of line it is re receiving closed surface so it is zero Total is zero. Coming out, we are taking positive. Coming in, if we are taking negative, 
plus minus it will become 0. At the magnetic north pole of the earth, the value of I told you at poles horizontal component is 0 and at equator vertical component is 0. So, at poles the value of horizontal component is 0. So, we will go with option A. 33rd, if a magnet is suspended at an angle of 30 degree to the magnetic meridian, a dip needle makes an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal. What is the real dip is? We know that the 10 theta is, we have relation vertical component upon horizontal component. But angle uh, dip needle makes an angle of 45 degree with horizontal. So, its component should be and magnet is suspended at an angle of 30 degree to the magnetic meridian. 30 degree with the magnetic meridian, it means its horizontal component should be BH cos 30 degree. Since needle is magnet is suspended at an angle of 30 degree to the magnetic meridian, so its horizontal component there, it should be BH cos 30 degree. So, what should be the value of at that place dip needle makes an angle of 45 degree. So, 10 45 degree should be equal to BV upon B H cos 30 degree. In place of B V, we are writing from 1, give it 1, B H 10 theta. upon B H cos 30. So, 10 theta is 10 45 is 1 and cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So, theta should be 10 inverse root 3 by 2, 10 inverse root 3 by 2. In this root 2 they are saying, it should be A. 34th, at a given place on the earth surface, horizontal component is this and resultant magnetic field is this. We know that what is horizontal component? I cos theta, H is given 3 into 10 to the power minus 5, total intensity is given 6 into 10 to the power minus 5. So, we can calculate angle of dip, cos theta should be 1 by 2, which is the value of cos 60 degree. So, it means theta should be 60 degree, theta should be 60 degree. Next, the angle of dip at a certain place where the horizontal and vertical components are equal. We know that what is vertical component? I sin theta, theta is angle of dip, I is total intensity, what is horizontal component, I cos theta, V and H are equal. So, what is given? V is equals to H means I sin theta should be equal to I cos theta. It means 10 theta is equals to 1. 1 is the value of 10 45 degree. So, what we are getting? Theta is equals to means angle of dip should be 45 degree. So, we are going with D. Next, the angle of dip at a certain place on the earth is 60 degree and the magnitude of our horizontal component is 0.26 Gauss. 
द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एट द प्लेस ऑन अर्थ इज सी वी नो दैट वट इज द फॉर्मूला एच इज इक्वल्स टू आई कॉस थीटा what they are saying horizontal component is 0.26 gauss we will get i in gauss only theta is 60 degree so cos 60 is 1 by 2 so what is magnetic field 0.52 gauss so we will go with c 37th the angle with the total magnetic field of earth makes with the surface of earth the total magnetic field of earth makes with the surface of earth means horizontal component it is known as angle of dip or second name of angle of dip is inclination so we will go with d option angle of dip or angle of inclination hysteresis is shown by which of the following material diamagnetic फेरोमैग्नेटिक पैरामैग्नेटिक ऑल ऑफ दीज ओनली फेरामैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंस शोज हिस्टेरिस बिकॉज वी आर मेकिंग परमानेंट मैग्नेट्स विथ फेरोमैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंस नेक्स्ट द रिलेटिव परमिएबिलिटी ऑफ ए मीडियम इज पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव वट शुड बी मैग्नेटिक ससेप्टिबिलिटी वट इज द रिलेशन रिलेटिव परमिएबिलिटी इज वन प्लस सेप्टिबिलिटी वॉट दे आर सींग रिलेटिव परमिबिलिटी पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव सो वॉट शुड बी द वैल्यू ऑफ सेप्टिबिलिटी पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव माइनस वन सो मीन्स फ्रॉम वन वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव 10 minus 5, 5. 9 7, 2, 9. Minus Since bigger number is negative, so we will write minus 0.925. See, we are going with B option. Susceptibility is positive and large for ferromagnetic substance, so we will go with B. For diamagnetic, it is negative. and less for paramagnetic it is positive but small for ferromagnetic it is large and positive relative permeability of iron is 5500 magnetic susceptibility is again same formula relative permeability means 1 plus susceptibility mu r is 5500 1 plus susceptibility so in this case susceptibility should be 4 5499 so we will go with option b next If a diamagnetic substance is brought near the north or the south pole of a bar magnet, it is we know that diamagnetic substances are always magnetized in opposite direction. Suppose one magnet is this; its magnetic field in this direction. It is diamagnetic substance. its magnetic field will not be in this direction it will be in this direction so north will this south will this so they will ripple it means rippled by both the poles next the relative permeability of a substance is relative to its susceptibility we know that mu r is 1 plus susceptibility so we will go with b materials suitable for permanent magnet must have which of the following properties if we are making permanent magnets so they should have high retentivity and high coercivity and high permeability so we will go with option d 
नेक्स्ट परमानेंट मैग्नेट्स आर द सब्सटेंस हैविंग द प्रॉपर्टी वी नो दैट परमानेंट मैग्नेट्स आर मेड अप ऑफ फेरामैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंस फेरामैग्नेटिज्म एट रूम टेम्परेचर फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो वी विल गो विथ ऑप्शन ए so in this way we have completed the 12th unit of our crash course which was magnetism thank you